appears to be tangible evidence which suggests that there is a pedophile ring in and around Washington, D.C. that includes potentially some of the most powerful people in our government. And uh, to that end, I know you decided to do some research into the question of, are there more missing children in that part of the country versus other parts of the country? And guys, Mark has assembled a shocking document here that breaks down the anomaly in black and white. And just to get this thing started, Mark, I want to share with the audience, Virginia has a population of 8 million people. By contrast, Texas and Florida are double and triple that population. Virginia has more missing children than either Florida or Texas. Where would you like to begin? This is pretty shocking stuff, Mark. Uh, well, that's correct, Sean. And within Virginia, uh, the missing are concentrated in three areas. Fairfax County, right around Richmond, and then the entire Norfolk Island, uh, or Norfolk, uh, Virginia Beach area. And outside of those three areas, uh, there's very little in terms of missing kids. And those areas are right around Washington, D.C. I've been there. I've been in Virginia. I mean, we're talking the belly of the beast here. And uh, according to the chart you sent me here, we have 392 kids missing. Is that just for 2016 alone? No. The the bulk of them are from 2016, 2015, and with majority of those in 2000, from 2016. All of my numbers came off the uh, Center for Missing and Exploited Children's website. Uh, one of the anomalies that I, what got me into this is I, I wanted to see if there was anything to this Pizzagate thing. And I thought, well, if there's anything going on here, there are numbers of missing kids might reflect it so that's what what kicked me off okay so um, so we have 392 missing children uh, from the state of Virginia uh, guys by contrast Texas with more than triple the population has 327 missing kids so Virginia population of 8.3 million people 392 kids right now missing uh, some of those kids have photos associated with them and obviously parents who are very concerned and many of those kids don't even have photos associated with them based on your research can you tell us about that uh, yes Sean uh, 202 of the missing of the 394 over half had no photographs attached and that is specific to Virginia alone no other state has anything close to that kind of anom anomaly. They may have uh, one or two or three without photographs, but we're looking at over half of the missing in Virginia have no photographs. And who, who makes a report and doesn't provide a photograph of the kid that's missing? That makes no, absolutely no sense. Take us through these 2016 numbers of missing kids in Virginia. Okay, throughout the year, the numbers have been ramping up throughout 2016. I don't have the exact numbers for all the kids, but if I uh, include the kids whose photos have been included in their files, it gets even more bleak. So let's start with March. These are only the kids who have no photos attached, which and for two, 2016, that is 182 children that is way higher than the total numbers for most of the other states in the Union. So let's start with, with March. These are kids without photographs attached to their files. March, five kids missing. April, one. May, six kids missing. June, seven. July, three. <clears throat> Those are all numbers that uh, would be normal, fairly normal for a state that size. Let's get into August. Eight kids missing. September, 23 kids missing. Yeah, and here comes October. October. Uh, here comes Halloween. Here comes Halloween. 40 kids missing. And then we move into November, and it looks like they're still at it in November. Um, 74 children missing in November. That sounds like an epidemic. And, yeah, that, that, uh, that, I mean, that's, that's really shocking. 74 kids are, missing in just one month in Virginia. Uh, these are only the ones without photographs. I haven't, I haven't figured in the, the ones that have photos attached. Like I said, it, it only gets more bleak once I, once I put in those numbers, which I haven't added up yet because we're talking about so many kids. All right. 
Now, just so the audience understands, Mark, you're not just pulling these numbers out of thin air and making them up. Uh, I believe some of your sources include fugitivehunter.org and missingkids.com. What other research have you done to compile these numbers? All of my numbers came off the uh, Center for Missing and Exploited Children's website. The chart you sent me that I just showed the audience is something you put together. That's not out there for public information that's easily gettable, is it? No, it's not available at all, which which also shocked me. I would think that um, the, the uh, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children would run a, a, a map that was constantly updated so that people would be able to, to identify pockets of missing kids as they showed up, but that, nothing like that exists. What the Center for Missing and Exploited Children couldn't explain to me is how they come up, how they came up with a 95 to 97 percent recovery rate. Okay. So I, so I called them and I'm like, well, I mean, that's a pretty bold statement to say that, you know, from their founding, they're now up to a 95 to 97 percent recovery rate, and they get a lot of money and donations and stuff. So I was like, well. How do you get that number, and who do I talk to to get the, the recovery rate for specifically for Virginia? And nobody knew the answer, and nobody knew where I could go look to even find it. So I'm, I'm at a dead end on that. If you are calling to report your child missing or the sighting of a missing child, press 1 now. If you are calling to report child pornography, online enticement of children for sexual acts, child sex trafficking, or child sex tourism, press 2 now. If you are calling to request publication, press 3 now. If you are calling for any other reason, press 4 now. How can I help you? Hi, good evening. Hey, uh, I called you guys about a uh, about a, I don't know two weeks ago or something, and I was hoping you could help me out. I know you guys are probably busy. The website in Virginia is is, is off. It's been off. Uh, three fourths of the pictures of the uh, abducted children are missing, and you know I, I can't I, I can't get in contact with tech or anything like that. I mean they're. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know if you get if they actually work with you or your. What website is it working? Uh, missingkids.com. So I'm I'm looking at it right now, and the ones that I'm seeing that don't have a photo, no photos submitted by investigating agency. Um, that doesn't mean that they were deleted. That just may mean that there's not a photo for that child um, for whoever reported them. There are ones from Virginia that have photos. Um, yeah, but we're looking at 20, 30 percent. I mean, what's what's up, man? Well, well, like I just said, it says no photo submitted by investigating agency. So that just means that a photo wasn't submitted for the missing poster. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, it's, you know, well, what's up with that? I mean, it's, it's I, I, I can't get an answer. You know, and I thought it was, I thought it was a tech thing. And I thought you guys were... Sorry, just, sorry. Sorry, sorry, just give me an no, I I get what you're saying, but what we're looking at is there's no there's an there's an issue with that, uh, and, and I can't get an answer. At first, I thought it was a technical problem, and I appreciate the clarification. But I mean, the, the, the issue is every other state there's only one out of five hundred pictures that are missing, and here we're looking at. Uh, 20% photo rate? I mean, that's, uh... Is I'm, I'm sorry, what answer were you looking for? Um, well, I'm I mean, I... Why, it's, it's, why they're not posted? Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's highly well, suspect, really. Okay, so, 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 so,
again, so they're, they're just not supposed to be because no one submitted a photo for each one of those cases. I mean, it's, yeah, but I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, I, I, I appreciate that, but I mean, the whole thing is improbable, you know, and it's, it's, it's not that it's impossible or that I, I see any, um, I mean, I, I don't necessarily think it's anything nefarious. I think it's, uh, just a matter of the gigantic problem. I mean, I, I I'm not casting stones either way. I'm just saying it, it's, it's a terrible thing. Um, I, again, I thought it was a tech problem, but it's, it's 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 just it's see I don't know what the problem is you know and I was hoping to get an answer. Well, well the, the answer to your question is that no one has submitted the photo and that's why it's just not on there. That that that's why their the photos aren't posted on their posters. I know, but I mean, how many? Come on, guys. How many? Seriously, how many? Uh, how many peak? How many calls have you guys gotten about this? I mean, isn't there some issue with this? I mean, with with what are we looking at? Like thirty percent of of it, it's 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 not a disconnect. It's it, what we're talking about is is a very large group of missing and possibly unidentified children. You know, and there's a theory going around. I'm starting to I'm I'm starting to think it's it might be right. These children aren't even these they're just random. You know, like these aren't even necessarily the children that are missing. There's no picture there because it's convenient for for later subversion basically and it, this is a very serious problem i mean you guys you guys are the gatekeepers you know and, and you guys are supposed to be the final line of defense for children and i'm i gotta tell you i'm, I'm a little sure. scared do you, do, you under, do you understand the reason that i gave you as far as why the photos aren't there yeah but what i'm saying is it's highly suspect what, what i'm getting at is there's a serious problem here and i know it's not your responsibility to fix it but you could at least say to your boss hey these guys are calling and they're fucking mad why do they keep calling about virginia why do they keep calling about virginia i mean it maybe maybe there's something going on here i mean maybe nobody else cares but i do all right so sir the, the photos that yeah. are posted are for open cases with us there are times when there are different clearing houses that photos to be put on our website but that doesn't mean they're reported missing with us okay so we're able to put up photos that are submitted for missing children and then also cases that are open with us from the public okay um it's fine but it's it still doesn't explain it, these these children are just john does you know and it's it's the, the pictures aren't there so they can't be identified you know and, and i would think that right, so give, but, but given I, enough I, phone I calls given it yeah i know i know you've explained as as why the aren't there. I, I know and i'll leave you alone after this but you know you would think after if you if you personally would get enough phone calls you might at some point actually even maybe even mention it to your boss so what, what, what i'm saying is, is you might want to actually try to do something about it well, yeah, okay, but I mean, and, and really, you're okay with with all this. I mean, think about it. <laughs> maybe, maybe you could actually mention it to your supervisor at some point. I'm just—it's food for thought. I, I mean, I, I I know that you know you, you know. I'm just saying you might actually mention it to your supervisor at some point that the database is broken. And yeah, you can say the, yeah. I, I I know it's well. I'd say it is. It's clearly not working. It's a bunch of John Doe children. If there isn't anything else that I can help you with, um, then I can't keep giving you the same reason. Okay, I, I appreciate that. Can I, uh, I, I, I don't want to, I'm not going to bother you anymore. Can I talk to your supervisor, please? Uh, he's actually not available right now. That's fine. Uh, can I talk to your supervisor, supervisor? Um, no, they're not in the office right now. They're always in the office. I'm sorry? They're always... No. People are on the phones right now with completing intakes or leads or whatever they're on the phone for, so that's why other people are not available. Okay. I'll tell you what. How about I leave you my phone number, and if she, if she feels like it, he can call me back. I mean, I, he's not going to, but I'll, I'll leave my phone number. So, uh, so I, you know, I, I, we'd be glad to talk to him about uh, this gigantic uh, problem with, you know, you know these these children who are done unidentified and there's no interest in but here's my phone number like, like, I, like i said time and time again i've explained to you why their photos are not on the website is that they haven't been submitted for their case they're 
there's no other way I would be able to explain that to you. <laughs> Okay, okay, but what, what I'm, yeah, but I mean, it, it, it's it, regardless. Of the, I mean, what, what, what is the point? You know, I was like, I what I'm trying to say is something horrible is going on here, and I would like to talk to your supervisor. So let me give you my number, so he can not call me back. Um, my phone number. Okay. Okay. So what exactly? Um, calling to report. Uh, I'm calling to report likely childhood sexual abuse uh, from, uh, well, it's it's on the internet currently, so uh, by law, I have to report it. Okay, but I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you. You said... Oh, uh... This is, this is a video from the internet, and, uh... It is, I think it's child sexual abuse, and uh, I, I have to report it by law. So I've got a short URL to make it easy so you can look. Okay, where did you find the video? Uh, Twitter and YouTube and every major media um, platform. I'm with a group investigating the Washington, D.C. pedophile ring. Um, the video, we have not been able to properly source it uh, yet. We are trying to properly source it, but uh, we cannot, we can't pin down an exact source of it yet. The, the We think it's from World Corp Corporation, uh, taken from their website. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I, I, don't, I don't have a good answer for you right now. All right. And... Um I mean, this just came up on your on your news feed, or we found it somewhere. No, it's 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 well, it's 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 all kind of all over social media. It's on, I mean, it's on Twitter, it's on 4chan, 8chan, Gab, um, Facebook, and stuff like that. As a reasonable person, um, the screams absolutely sound like uh, very young children. Any yeah, please do. Okay. Can you, right. Do you have the? Do you, do you have a? Uh, do you have a live working link? I'm sorry. Do you have a live uh, link to the video? Um, I'd have to look it up. No, I mean, I mean, do, can you access the video? I mean, do, I'm not sure. If we'll be able to but I, I can. It. Well, the um, I, did, did you were you able to pull up my uh, Twitter page? Um, I'm, I'm not able to do that right now. Hmm. Okay. Um, can I talk to uh, one of the uh, detectives, please? There's. Uh, I can take your information. I work directly with them. Oh, I, I understand, but I, I would. I, I understand, and I, I appreciate everything. But, I can't. I can't connect you with anybody. So, well, wait, sure you can. Like I said, I can take the information. If they need to contact you, they will contact you back. Well, the um, the, you, you can connect me. the The deal is, is um, the when it comes to child sexual abuse, um, it, it is uh, it, it is a requirement by law that you guys investigate this. Um, as far as you know, oh well, you know, I can uh, take down your information. Uh, you know, uh, no, I can get back to you. That's great, but 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 it is a felony to fail to report child sexual abuse. Uh, it is a series of felonies to knowingly cover up child sexual abuse. Um, what what, what, I, what I'm saying? Yes, Nick Mick. Yeah, I know about Nick Mick. Yeah, it, yeah, but oh, uh, what, what uh, no, I am. But what what I'm what I'm saying is, is Nick Mick is not a law enforcement agency. Now, are you a law enforcement agent? It, Okay. Are you? So are you? I mean, you don't know. Well, no, no, I know. I, I'm. Uh, no, no, I, I know. I, what I'm telling you is, is I know, okay. and you're live All on. Right. Well, thank you for your information. No, 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 no. no. We're okay. we're not done yet. It is a felony, you dumb bitch. Okay. Um. I I was uh, I just uh.
called and reported this. Um, and but I, I would like to try it again because the they last. Oh. Well, what I, what happened is is I, I linked to a video of child abuse and the person uh, on the other end of the phone uh, ignored me and hung up on me, which is rude because I gave her a valid link of um, a video of children being abused and she hung up on me, which is very strange. And you have you have the recording of it uh, available so you can confirm what I'm saying. So what I would like, what I would like, is to give you the live link of the video, so you can look at it, because the last lady was not interested and hung up on me, which is strange. Okay. So what information do you have? What? Uh, I have information involving involving childhood sexual abuse, childhood sexual assault. Uh, How but, are you talking? Are you talking about someone you know? No, I don't know these people personally. So how how do you uh, how do you get this information? Uh, it's all over the website. It's it's a viral video that's going around, apparently on Twitter, Facebook, etc. And um, you know, I was very nice to the last lady, but when I gave her the URL. Oh, Mm -hmm. reporting. I'm reporting childhood sexual abuse and by law you're required to report it but it is a I'm you are alive on YouTube a live stream there are hundreds of people uh, that are listening to this phone call so this is something you found on YouTube. yeah no 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 it is everywhere I've got a short video Sir, and do. by law by law by law it Sir, is a felony you have to you have no 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 this isn't a debate so if you're going to argue with me i'm asking for your information sure okay well i i let me give you it's a short url here's the link it's a so very it's on everywhere yeah let me all right tell me what you're saying uh well how about i give you it, the, the video is fucked up you guys, I mean, excuse my language, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you decide what, what it's a, tw it's a two minute video. I don't think that'll take too much time out of your day. Let me give you the short URL. Sir, is this short? Oh, it certainly is. is it's a, yeah, it's a retweet. It's, it certainly is. It's a retweet that I pinned. It's all over. And, and the reason I did this is and because, kind of well, you need to click on the video and find out. Because, All right, then. All right. There you go. Thank you for your. Thank you. Okay. What? Can I get a case ID number? Okay. Well, th then you can. Would you please connect me to a uh, law enforcement officer? Sir, this is a I don't know, but what you can do is you can you can have one call you me can back. Also, hold on, sir. Mm-hmm. Nick Mick. Yeah, I know what Nick Mick is. Nick Mick is not Nick Mick is not a law enforcement agency. Um, the the police. Yeah, I can talk to the police, but All right, no, 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 no. For your call. What's your name? You dumb fucking father. Every fucking time I tried to report this shit to the FBI, this is what they do to me every time. Thank you for calling the FBI's Major Case Contact Center. FBI, may I have your name? Hi there, uh, my name is Alan, A-L-A-N, Chipman, C-H-I-P-M-A-N. Uh, my phone number is 832-707-5566. Can you tell me how Hi, uh, I was hoping maybe you could help me. Uh, this is the third time I called, and I'm trying to report uh, what is very likely uh, childhood sexual abuse. And um, the last two, the last two people hung up on me and told me to call Nick Mick, uh, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And I, 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 I understand that you guys are uh, 
mean, I understand this is just a tip line, but I the, the problem is, is Nick Mick is not a law enforcement agency, and uh, I'm just trying to report uh, what is likely childhood sexual abuse, and uh, I'm having trouble with it. You know, and I got I've got hung up on twice. You know, it's very rude. NICMIC itself is not a government organization. It's not actually law enforcement. They work with law enforcement. It's a private organization. They don't have any legal standing to do anything or arrest anybody. Um, I was hoping to talk, uh, you know, directly with law enforcement. Um, you know, I mean, given given the nature of uh, child sexual abuse and laws regarding reporting it, um, you know, I'm I'm trying to make sure that it, it gets reported. What I'm, what I'm getting at is this is a uh, continued, uh, con continued obstruction, you know, and by law, it is a felony. Uh, if, if you, uh, it, 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 is, it is a requirement that uh, people investigate, law enforcement is required to investigate these crimes. There, there's no, there's no exceptions. Uh, in the United States of America, there's absolutely no exceptions. I mean, this is live on YouTube. I've got quite a lot of people watching me now. If you want to see how many people are watching this and how many times I've been hung up on, you can go to my YouTube channel. Just type in FBI live phone call and there I am. Now, what I'm trying to say is that um, it is indeed a series of felonies. And I've given you my phone number and you need to, because th th this, it is a series of felonies to fail to report and to fail to investigate childhood sexual abuse. Um, th this, this, I don't believe it is a point of debate. I mean, you can try to debate it with me, but I, I disagree. Sir, I respectfully disagree. I'm not disagree. debating anything with you. You were appropriately referred. Have a nice evening. <laughs>
your gut kind of churned inside. Um, it made it made me feel weird watching it. Yeah, I, I didn't get a um, you know I've got a, I've got a fairly uh, strong stomach. I, I didn't get a uh, like uh, like pleasant feeling when I was watching. Let me put it that way. I mean, I, I don't want to get into the whole <laughs> emotional thing. I, I did. I was like. You know, it, it, look. I mean, you know, I, I may have a, I, I may not be uh, exactly normal or whatever as far as uh, the way I think and everything like that. But when I see something like that, I'm like, ooh, 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 ooh. like even if it's possible, I'm like, dude, 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 no, 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 none of this shit. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense. Uh, onto the FBI call. Um, you know, I was like, okay, this is. I don't know what else to make of this video. I mean, is, is there actually? Is, you know, is there a crime being committed here? Is somebody like, what the fuck is going on behind that shower door or whatever door or glass panel or plastic panel? I mean, is somebody raping a fucking kid? Is somebody beating the shit out of a kid? What the fuck is going on? You know, and yeah, okay, it sounds exactly like John Podesta, but in reality, like something like that, I, I would, I, I don't, I think I would have to report to law enforcement anyway, just because it's, it's so... Given what I do know about pedophiles, pedophilia, and pedophile rings, um, you know uh, that that's, that's it's, it sounds like you know it, it's it's got their mark on it, like something that weird, something that sadistic. They're into some weird, weird shit. You know and that whole video is fucking weird. There was like a bunch of like some theater and just like just kind of weird, just fucked up, just shit. Yeah, well, I know that the site that hosted that original video, I mean, I just actually recorded a video earlier on this. Um, they posted videos of them peeing and drinking their own pee, bathing in their own crap. I mean, this kind of stuff mixed with child abuse that is extremely graphic when you hear it and very real. Um, the, the screams coming out of that child and and there's someone else there as well saying stop at one point um which you can hear on the mic but regardless of all of that so you called them and you know i remember watching the video thinking wow these people are crazy it's like they almost they take your call and then they just they just refer you to a private organization that has no powers of law enforcement whatsoever and it's simply supposed to be they don't the, technically, yeah. It's they a, don't it's at all. They're a referential power. They just refer what they gather to law enforcement. Now the problem with that is the referring. What if it doesn't get done? Um, so you got like a you got two points to go through before um, you can get just to the FBI to even say this uh, to report these things, which you mentioned yourself. It's illegal if you do not report it and and you do have it in front of you, or if you're in a, if you're a law enforcement or investigator and you do not investigate it and it is right in front of you knowingly. Um, so continue you on to, to how you some sort of, I mean, I'm not, you don't have to, like, I'm not a lawyer, but I, I hate to interrupt, but I mean, again, like it, it, if you suspect something is, um, child pornography or something is child abuse or something like that, by law, as a citizen, I think it's 48 hours in all states, maybe it's 24, something like, whatever. I mean, with, within 48 hours, realistically. Right. So by law, you're supposed to report it, um, to pr proper law enforcement agency. And I understand that's a good law. And you know, with, with law enforcement, yeah, that by law they're technically required to investigate. Like, if, if I say anything involving uh, children and uh, you know any kind of uh, alleged sexual abuse, they they have to investigate. Now, does it mean they have to like you know like if I if I make a call about uh, CP, which is you know the abbreviations for child pornography, right? It doesn't mean they have to send out 15 agents to my house or someone's house and fucking kick down you know what I'm saying it, it doesn't mean they have to spend every single resource but they cannot do nothing legally they, they cannot they can't just they can't just you know not do nothing They're, but but this is the thing this is what they do they send it to the world's largest database Nick Mick okay they put it they put it in the in the black hole okay they type it in the black hole okay yes sir we, we've got your information and to, to them to the operator that is investigating they, they, them to, the, to them they've done their part and the idea is is that uh for all they know or maybe they do know maybe they don't know maybe they know maybe they don't know it goes in this giant system where no one's really going to ever investigate it uh they will they'll immediately contact um you know fbi cia nsa uh what, what, whatever alphabet group there is right you'll immediately contact them if it's a major case 
if it's a case that affects them on an emotional level, or if it's um, whatever. I mean, if, if you can convince the, the private citizen on the other end of that phone that this should be looked at, they'll actually get off their ass and make a phone call or make an actual real email. I'm not talking about putting something into some system that's never going to be read. Right. So, but I gave the, the, the FBI, the first, it's, it gets kind of their first point, but the FBI lady, um, I gave her, what time is it? Okay. I, I gave I, the first lady I was fairly nice to. Um, she wouldn't look at the video. And I said, okay, well, um, I said, okay, well, uh, you know, uh, is there anything else we can do? You know, and I was kind of trying, I was kind of trying to prod and kind of see, trying to see where she would lead me or what her thinking was. And she, you know, she, she really wasn't having it. And I was, I was like, come on, it's like, guys, we really, we really can't do this. You know, this, this Nick make, it's not even a law enforcement agency. Are you guys going to investigate? It's basically what I was asking her. That's basically, she was like, oh, well, you know, you can call Nick Mick. I've given you the number. Well, she didn't give me the number, but she told me to call Nick Mick. Because basically, she, she was saying, we're not going to investigate that. <laughs> so, um, and I asked her, she was like, I was like, did you open the video? And she said, no. And I was like, can you open the video? And she said, I'm not sure. So she was being duplicitous. She was being deceitful on purpose. Because uh, Lee, cause you know, the phone calls recorded and everything like that. And uh, she was doing that to protect her own uh, skin. Because if she said she didn't see the video, um, there's less. There's, I think there's less uh, pressure on her. There's less onus on her to do more about it. Okay. I, th- I think they kind of knew that something was was amiss the way I was calling. You know, because I, I I'm not gonna call and say, hey, look, fucking Peachgate, 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 fucking Peachgate, John Podesta. You know, because people were asking me why I didn't wasn't more direct with them and all this shit. But they would have told me to go fuck myself. They would have said, sir, Peachgate's not real. Call Nick Mac. They would have hung up on me a lot quicker. I just, so, I just honestly find it troubling the fact that you actually had to call three times in the same exact video. I mean, just how frustrating that must have been that someone can't just give you a, a straight fucking answer. You know, like it, it was all like, oh, like you could tell it's protocol. You can tell it's it's pressure it's from the top scripted. saying, hey, it's, we know that they can do this, but okay, let's let's direct them otherwise because this is not how we roll. Like that we don't want to hear this, so let's refer them to this department. You know, it's like what the what the hell's the government for at that point? You know, they're just gonna outsource to some some place like like uh, Nick Mick that that in the what Virginia area I think it, they're missing like sixty percent of their photos for their missing children in the Washington D.C. Virginia area. I mean that's that how do you how do you explain the discrepancy in that number? I they mean don't have a, they don't have a narrative for that. They can't comment because. When you, when you cannot comment on something, you're fucked. Because normally, like, it, it's so bad, they're ordered they can't even comment about it. I would ask Nick Mick, I was like, okay, guys, look, I, I did some, I, I spent, like, I don't know, like, I think two hours doing, like, basic number crunching. I'm talking about big, basic number crunching. I'm not a fucking mathematician, okay? But I did, I did graduate high school somehow. <laughs> you know? So yeah, I did basic, yeah. I did, oh, well, I'm just saying, you know, all humor aside, I did basic number crunching. And the percentage we're looking at, I, I, I'm not going to show the high graph anything like that. What is it? 50 point, I think it's 5.3. Let me double check. 50.53%. So 50 point, uh, 50.53% 50. of what now? 50.53% of Virginia has pictures. So meaning, okay. so meaning uh, that's 100, there's a missing, there's 188 pictures missing out of 372. Do you care to guess how many pictures are missing across the United States? I think it's 203. 203. So 188 out of the 203 missing pictures are from uh, Virginia. And they can't comment on that because they're complicit. They work so closely with these law enforcement folks. This is fucking stupid. So it's the Virginia Clearinghouse is what they're pointing to. They're trying to blame them. I would ask them, I would say, okay, guys, come on. Uh, okay, so wh- wh- what is up with this giant fucking problem you have? And they're like, you know, and I, I called them the guys that their database was broken. And um, they're like, oh, no, it's not broken. It's just that they were never submitted by the original agency. I was like, okay, so, but it's still broken because, in effect, it doesn't work. It's not functioning. Because, <laughs> I mean, because I was like, so when are you going to put these pictures up? They're like, well, you can call Virginia, and I was like, okay. So, and they would keep, 
They're so we can find the children. I mean, that's the thing. When are you going to put the pictures up so we can find the missing children that your organization is based its existence around? Yeah. And when, when you try to ask him an emotional level, like when you try to ask him a question that evokes any kind of emotion, like, oh, do you have any kids? How would you feel about this? They're, 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 they're well trained to kind of like fend off. Deflect. Questions. Yeah, they're, they're, they're very good at evasion. It's like a politician. And it felt like I was arguing with a fucking rock. You know, I was, I'm serious. I was like, okay, so, but, but they're going to tell me the same shit because they have no interest in exposing their own incompetence and their own corruption, basically. I think it's complete corruption. So I remember when I, so when I watched the video of the Nick Mick call, when you're talking to this guy that was actually on the phone with you for a decent amount of time, just trying to reiterate the same point again and again and again and again, thinking that somehow you just did not understand what he was saying. It's funny that kind of psychological game that they play when, when in that case, I was hearing that and I was just like, dude, of course he understands just that. Of course he, he's saying for you to do your job and, and have a, at least tell the guy that, oh, wow, that's not good news. Maybe I should tell my supervisor that our exactly. system isn't working. Like at this point, you're you not even government. You're like a private industry and, or you're, excuse me, you're a private company and, and, and you're not even doing the job that you're supposed to do and you're a private company. It's like you're the one in charge of this entire database and you're gonna sit there and just disown your responsibility. That's literally what happened. It's like- They're, they're trying to blame it on Virginia. Like, oh, well, it's um, it's uh, it's Virginia's fault because- They, they tell you what happened, they don't tell you why. That's what you keep asking why. And they're like, oh, well, they just didn't send them. We just don't have them. Yeah, I know that. I, I, I get that. Yeah, tell me why you don't have them. Well, I mean, they just send them or they don't send them and we just don't have them. I was like, okay, does this bother you? And I, they said, because when you ask them an emotional question, I'm like, does this concern you? Uh, this is, I, I, this this sounds very, very bad to me. It sounds like the system's broken. It sounds like something fucked up's going on. Try to help does them out a little bit, yeah. Well, you can call Virginia. I'm like, that's not a, I'm arguing with a fucking rock. But it's like, anyway. it, it, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, I would have never expected that reaction, to be honest. But that's that's what most people think when they think of these organizations that just, quote unquote, help people. And it's all this um, positive language and all these all these foundations and they're not and their tax exempt statuses. Like, you just never know. You really never know. Um, and I, I would oh. have never I mean, maybe it's the way my view is. I would have never thought that you would have. Um, come across that kind of pushback from from many from multiple departments well nick mick nick mick is you know it's not a non-profit organization they they were i don't know what's going no one knows what's going on inside washington right now because <laughs> i mean it's it's we've we've had a uh it's gone from blue it was blue for eight years you know and it's 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 red now right that the 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 the, the, the uh, newly minted administration is red and so, yeah, I mean, there's turmoil and everything like that. I'm sure every time that happens, right? There's, you know, I mean, it's like if you have a new boss but that comes into work, it's completely different. You know, there's going to be there's going to be adjustments, right, in, in a normal job. But we're, we're, we're talking about um, we're talking about high level, uh, in my opinion, high level corruption, and high level crime. Now, most I, look again, I, I, I'm guys. I know there uh, there are people from the FBI and Nick Mick and law enforcement who watch my videos. And I know a lot of those people uh, are actually, you know, good, honest people. Now, some of them are fucking scum of the earth, and, you know. I, th I think should be, I, mean, I think should be sent to the fucking gallows because some of them are running the world's largest criminal enterprise, and will find you. But I mean, the, I mean, the, you know, and the the people that the people that are realizing, they're like, wait a minute, okay, so we've got Nick Mc National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which are the gatekeepers. They're the ones who tells law enforcement, every alphabet agency, what crimes to investigate. When it comes to, uh, you know, because they call the FBI, CIA, NSA, any of these people, they say, eh, well, you know, eh, we'll, we'll call Nick Mick, you know, and then you call Nick Mick, and if they're interested in investing in crime, they'll, they'll in turn get, get you a hold of a detective. Um, now, it's a little different. If you can get a hold of a, um, like, if you can get a hold of an FBI agent or CIA agent uh, in person, they can't easily, they can't very easily get rid of you, especially if you have a video uh, like the, John, the suspected John Podesta video. They um they can't they can't really just deflect you very easily. 
I mean, they can if you're like a complete fuck and you, you just like harass them for 20 minutes. I mean, so they'll be like, okay, dude, come on, I'm, I'm trying. Then you might move to another clearance on their list. <laughs> well, I mean, if you go up there and you're like a complete cock for half an hour, you know, um, yeah, I'm sure they'll eventually tell you to fuck off. But I'm saying in person is a lot more difficult for them to just say, you know, oh, just call Nick Mick. You know what I'm saying? Well, here's the here's the phenomenon of a of a enforcement agency that has the only right to do just that, and you know, the basically what I'm saying is that the FBI is just that, just the FBI. There's no, it's not like it's not like you call the FBI and then they don't handle your business. And say, okay, I'm gonna take my business elsewhere. I'm gonna get someone else to enforce this. This is awful. No, they know that they're the only means of this, and so what do they do? They then go on and proceed to refer you to another place. You see how that works? Like, it's just, it, for certain things, it's like you could get a straight answer. Then you call about something that matters, you can't get a straight answer. Well, it's, it's a bureaucratic shuffle. What they do is, since there's no narrative for this, uh, for example, the, the, the Virginia pedophile ring, the largest, um, rumored to be the largest in the world, I'm sure it's, I'm, I'm sure it's the largest in the United States. That is seriously a huge deal. The fact that in Virginia area, Washington D.C., that it's that much more prevalent than in all other areas. In areas like Denver, and in areas like Austin, in areas like Portland, that are the top areas of human trafficking. And you're telling me these biggest areas are not bigger than Washington D.C.'s area for human trafficking, child trafficking. Excuse me. Human trafficking. The largest area is in Portland per capita. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I live in Texas, and it's it's bad here, but I mean, uh, real quick, I, I, I'm not going to do the whole number thing, but I mean, I, I'll leave with this thought. Virginia, like I said, there are, with Nick Mick's public database, the public one, right? I don't have access to their fucking top secret scoop shit. And really, I would not have long access to that <laughs> the giant black, garbage. They're black post. box of all these missing children <laughs> that they won't post. Oh, fucking God. I mean, that would keep it up at night. If I had... You wouldn't want access to their computer system anyway. It's, it's fucking gross. It's the world's largest child porn database. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, that means it's, that you it's can It's not make... something you would want to rummage through. Well, you know, if they have the ownership to the world's largest database, you, you know, you technically, in an objectivist sense there, you can make a lot of money. So... That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's, it's, the whole thing's fucked up. No. But, okay, Texas, uh, 374 missing... In the public database, Nick makes uh, 374 cases, okay? Now, Virginia, 372 uh, cases. In Texas, there's uh, two missing uh, pictures where there was no picture offered and there was no attempt to uh, make a sketch or a digital likeness. Because a lot of that's like, you look at different states. So there, was, there were reasons given, is what you're saying. For, for a well, small number of people that didn't have a picture. No, there was no reason for, for two of them. For two. But, yeah, out of 374... Okay, um, but, you know, which is, you, you know, you would like a perfect record, but I, I don't think that's, like, some giant cover-up. But, I mean, but what, I, what I'm saying is, is half of the pictures where there's no effort to even do a digital likeness or sketch, meaning you don't want these children identified because they are uh, floating around. I'm, I'm assuming what they're doing is they're floating around in uh, illegal media, a.k.a. child pornography on the deep web, and due to photo recognition software and all this happy shit, they don't want them recognized. Like, oh, we put a picture of this kid up, they're gonna recognize him from CP, or they're gonna, or the kids that are dead, you know, down the street in Virginia. We don't want to recognize them. Uh, we really want to do a digital. There was no effort to even do any kind of description of the children because they, they don't want the children recognized. Uh, some of these children might not even be real children. I asked the lady at Nick I said, are these even real children? In my third and final, uh, my third video that I posted, I said, look. I was like, come on. I was like, I, I don't, I really don't believe you guys. I was like, you guys, you guys don't have a narrative. You don't have a comment on this. Okay. You're, you're trying to push blame to Virginia, which, um, you can accept half that blame because it's your database. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's, there's clearly some collusion going on. Well, here's the thing. I Ultimately, said, these, it's their are responsibility. Are these real children? You know what her comment was? I said, are these real children? How do I know these are real children? This isn't like make fiction or make believe. You know what her comment was? You can talk to Virginia. I was like, bitch, are you serious? I didn't say that. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, God. That's just, it's just such a bad system, man. I don't get that. It's not good. I mean, they're, they're clearly told what to say beforehand. You know, they're clearly said, 
oh, we don't talk about this. We're invest. What they do is they say they always. This is how uh, pedophile rings go uh, without prosecution for twenty years, like the big ones. They say, oh, we're investigating it. All the people in law enforcement, like, what, let's say I'm a cop. I'm not. Maybe we make that very clear that I'm not a police officer. But if I was, okay. And I talked to my boss and said, boss, there's some fucked up shit going on, blah, 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 pedophile ring. He would say, oh, well, we're looking into that. Don't talk about it because it's a high-level investigation. Meaning he's telling me to be quiet because, you know what I'm saying? That's how they keep it quiet for 20 years. No one gets arrested for 20 years. We're looking at it. Yeah, there's like, oh, don't talk about it because it's top secret because it's a high-level investigation. No, there's fucking not. It needs to be top, not top secret. You know what I mean? It needs to be the opposite of that. Thank you. That's my opinion, and like I said, they've got their marching orders, and some of them are following those orders in, the, you know, good faith. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, people are saying, oh, you need to fire the FBI colleagues, but I don't think they did a particularly good job, but they're now, clearly question. following orders. Is, um, yeah. is Nick Mick the, the sole database? Not, not by spontaneity or by just straight up random occurrence, but do they regulate it so that they're the sole database? database of what are you talking about like a, a for, legal content yeah for like primary database for reporting this is that the sole oh, place like is that is that endorsed by the government as what they only they only they only say go to nick Mick. that's it, it i mean I, it, it all goes straight to nick Mick. for example um like there's I, what i'm saying is there's no other competing uh private agencies like nick Mick that also okay. handle this okay yeah, so, I mean, who's to say that, you know, they're obviously in collision with each other and they could totally, you know, not be wanting to give up any of this stuff because they're directly responsible for, for, for a lot of this stuff, for, for impeding investigations. I mean, that's the realistic answer, is that they're just, they're totally involved. They're, they're implicated in all this. Yeah, the Virginia, the Virginia Clearinghouse, which is, which is, I don't think is actually part of the Virginia State Police. I think it is... A non-profit, it's fucking complicated, but basically, there's a there's an organization that reports to Nick, Virginia State Police, okay, but any, it's like any state police organization, what they do is they have a non-profit, okay, and I think this is right, correct me if I'm wrong, viewers, uh, comment, but what they do is they, they report to a non-profit, the non-profit reports to Nick Mick, okay, so it's technically a non-profit saying, okay, there's, here's a list of kids, there's 372 of them, we're only going to give you half the pictures. And Nick Mick goes, oh, you need help covering up that pedophile ring? Not a problem. Done. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. I'm serious. That's what they fucking yeah, did. Yeah. Anybody, if I was running, if you're running the world's largest uh, uh, organization like Nick Mick, okay, and every other organiz- every other uh, state. That's the point of them being the only thing there. You pay them top dollar. Like If, not, if I gave, if every other state was 99.9% had pictures or a like, you know, a drawing or something like that, where there was a, a serious effort to give a real description, a, vi- a real visual description of the child. And some fucking state comes up to you and says, well, uh, I mean, okay, so out of 322, I'm gonna give you, I'm only giving you half the pictures, but, but post this anyway, because we need your help stamping this. What would you say? What, what would you say, hey, uh, what's up with this? Would you ask questions or would you just say? I would, I would imply, I would, I would like Im- be implicit and say, before I would, before I was explicit, I would be implicit and say, "Well, why is that the case?" I would point to the fact that that's a little absurd or a little weird, not normal. Stupid. It's just not normal. That's what you say. That's all you gotta say. It's not normal. Why so? Yeah. You know. But but but, but would but would you? But let me ask you this: If I just kept saying, "Look, we just don't have the pictures," um, the you know the parents are scared to talk. Would you would, would you just say, oh, "Okay, no problem"? No, would you would you put? Well, well, I mean, the thing is, is that when people do this, they're individuals like, you're talking to. So absolutely, I mean, you're going to get people that are pressured on a phone call to go, okay, yeah, I, I know, I understand, I understand. You're talking about referring ch- uh, child porn. I'm right there with you. I'll continue and just work with you and just disregard that entire horrible um, mistake that they made by not by not asking the questions. I don't know. I, the whole thing's fucked up. I, I, I No one's I think, pressuring them to ask the questions. That's my point. No one's no one's pressuring them to ask the questions. They're about, they're at their own with that's they're the only people like like I said, they're the only people that have all this data that they're supposed to be giving to law enforcement 
they're by themselves and so they're buddied up with the government of course like the, it's just I really wish it's, it would be abolished it's like we're living in I just I feel like I'm literally living in an alternative reality I just don't I don't I don't get it anymore like what is what is the I, I, if you can't even report human trafficking or child trafficking to the extent that they won't even be honest with you, like, what is, what, are, what is the hope to any of this as far as getting them to do anything about it? That's the point. You have to just keep digging and keep digging and keep digging until the narrative becomes so fucking obvious that it over it overpasses our need to call them again and, and report something. Now everyone knows it's technically reported at this point, you know? Yeah, to where at some point CNN's even like, okay, fuck. Well, you that's know, the thing. There's, there's other stations that they realized, well, well, shit, they're pushing us, they're backing us into this narrative we got to cover now. The child pedophilia and, uh, you know, human trafficking, it's so rampant. We're forced to cover it now, so we just got to kind of play it off nice and sly. We got to get Ashton Kutcher to come on and misquote numbers about his organization and how he helps so much with all these arrests Very that clever. aren't even made. So that's the point, is that they're like... I never thought of it like that. Yeah, like, I mean, up. he's going on and he's saying... So is that how they're trying to, is that how they're trying to introduce all this shit? Where okay, Ashton so here's Kutcher? the thing. You have Ashton Kutcher in front of a Senate... What did he say? I you just have, you have I Ashton Kutcher in front of a Senate hearing, okay? And he's basically talking about how he's personally seen... Um, uh, instances of child human uh, sex trafficking and all that stuff and he has an organization called it's coming it's coming it's coming it's called thorn haha uh, it's called thorn and basically here's the weird part so it's funded by the McCain foundation uh, John, John McCain John McCain foundation which I highly doubt that would be a genuine or a genuine donation um, considering his ties with Saudi Arabian princes and their ties with human trafficking. Um, so I just, I just don't buy it that that is an honest funding and, and he misquotes numbers. He doesn't misquote the number by let's say 50% off, which is huge margin to be off of a statistic. No, he goes way over the amount, thousands of arrests that are un unaccounted for. So I reported it on my website. I said, this is just, this is crazy. This is Hollywood doing the media's job, thinking that they can, they can, they can trick the people and, and do the same thing media the media's been Hollywood. doing by another name. They're just the second media. They're all the fifth column. That's all they are. Well, and it's, it's, it's really, it's all a special interest thing. And, um, you know, and I understand, like, this is the deal. I, I understand, like, you look at people like Megyn Kelly. Okay, or um, with Fox News, or God damn it, uh, Stelter. What, is he with CNN or CNN? Brian Stelter. Stelter. Oh, He's CNN. God. But my, my uh, point is, is he... <laughs> the, you say his the, name, I just I can't I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the thing. I mean, like in all honesty, the, I'm sorry. I just have to interject. They think that that fake news is equivalent to them being called a condescending uh <laughs> inward they think that's the same thing they literally went there you can't because call us fake news we're not giving you fake news that's like hurting our feelings we're being called the n-word really really they're, they're so offended because they know it's true oh they, they're paid they're they, there's my thought on the media i don't, I don't want to get into it too long cause we've been for i could go on them forever it's so true we just we, <laughs> whole nother easy. video they're i could so get into it i can't stand the media dude can't stand it Hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I can invite you on so we can talk some more shit about the media <laughs> sometime this week because it is fun. But no, it is. It, it really is. I mean, the media is awful, and you know, they. This is the thing. Like, I, I've I've had a few a few different number of jobs in my time, and uh, I, I've had an interesting work career. And I understand that, like any job you work for, for example, um, any job you work for, you're gonna have to. I mean, you're you're you're. You're, you're really you're, you're beholden to your company meaning you know you need to you, you, you got to make your company look good when push comes to shove however however there's a certain point where a human being is going to say man I mean look I, I understand that I, I, I my job or my my, uh, the, the, my boss and my job my business is a special interest thing right businesses are assigned to make money right and, you know portray themselves positively 
relatively to the public. But at a certain point, there's some things that a lot of people just aren't simply willing to do for their job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a there's a point where you're like, like for example, the Megyn Kelly interview with um, with a uh, goddamn it, James Alphonsus. I mean, are you fucking? Kidding? <laughs> Come on, that was that, that was that was like you... that was like giving candy to a baby. That was, I mean. Think about, it's exactly like, what he wants. Like, what the hell? Like, what is she thinking? That is not a journalistic e- endeavor that she did at all. Yeah, I mean, real quick, if, if you were interviewing somebody who's accused of running a fucking pedophile ring, right? And what was, what, I'm, I'm curious. Even if you thought it wasn't true, okay. would you ask them any questions? I, I mean, she didn't fucking ask me. She was like, what do you think we should do about fake news at the end? Yeah, whatever happened to being objective in your reporting and saying, you know, okay... Maybe they're wrong. Maybe their allegations are wrong. However, they've raised these concerns with this evidence. Um, I'm looking at it myself. I'm a little troubled. Can you explain this image? When he's like, okay, it was the child. Okay, well, where's where's her daughter? I don't, I don't see the daughter in the picture. There's no follow-up. Well, here's There's the th- thing. There wasn't a single question on, on her part that reflected anything the likes of what we just said. It was, it was totally just given to him. The entire interview was just... They flipped it on its head. It's no longer about the allegations and why some dude rolled up in there shooting. But now they said, oh, it's not about that. We're actually going to talk about the fact that, yes, it was fake Fake. news. This is some fake news, and we need to to start enforcing um, violence against fake news. Like, these people are coming here. (laughs) That's that's what they want to say. Like, we, need, we need to start getting violent against fake news. What? Here, one more thing before we get on a whole other tangent, because obviously I'm passionate about this this kind of concept. I mean, I went I went to Washington D.C. and the second that I filmed, the next day he made a statement when 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 the when the gunman came there. The same very day that that happened, he made a statement, and his statement was all concerned about a calling for action against fake news. Nothing at all about oh my god i just heard about it too yeah there was a guy with a gun like no natural reactions just real calm real psychopathic we need to do something about fake news yes and and you can see it was obviously like a softball interview given to him every single airtime he's ever had has been softball yeah i mean it's every there there wouldn't like for it's the same thing it's like t-ball it's not even softball like you just like Podesta, Podesta will not be if if he's even. I honestly, what is it? February, I think before 2018, he'll be he'll be in a courtroom. Um, but is it's that fucking bad? I think I don't think it's very good. Well, now that I, this I, video's come out, what kind I, of troubles me is this video that just came out. I, you know, at first when you looked at the Madeline McCann case and you saw the picture that they were um, connected to, that that police sketch that was done in Portugal. Um, that police sketch people were like oh well we don't know if you know they're really depicting someone really doing this or if it's or if it's a method in um, law enforcement where you kind of give a signal and you say hey these people are pedophiles by drawing their faces um but now it it leads me to question when i when i listen to the voice in this video when i hear him say his own name when i hear him refer to himself as skippy which is validated in two different stories on washington post and politico and a WikiLeak. I mean, when that starts to happen, you have to actually start to ask. Maybe they really do traffic and have sex with and rape little children. And if that's the case, then that drawing that we were all wondering about when it first came out could be very true. And it could actually involve Madeline McCann and her parents and everything. Because, I, I mean, I don't know if you've looked into that case, but if anyone is watching this video and they've looked in that case, they understand that... Those, pa- those parents are absolutely guilty of something. They, they are I, I don't absolutely know much guilty about of something. That, that, that case, I don't know much about. I'm, I, I have to leave it there with that. I mean, I, I but don't see, that's, that's, that's what I'm starting to... That's, that's what I'm starting to find out more and more is the with, now that this stuff's coming out, there's so many leads that are starting to make more sense. They're starting to come together and people are starting to actually like connect the dots between Haiti and Comet Ping Pong and all these things that... like. Pizzagate is not so monolithic. It's not just Comet Ping Pong. These people that are and just opposition to what we want to say, it's not Comet Ping Pong. It, it's, it's much larger than that. It's the idea that there is an economy, a black market, that uses these symbols to communicate in their subculture. 
and this is how they make money. That's what Pizzagate's about. So please, people like, watching like, this, like, get it straight. Please get it straight. It is not about one instance. If if a conspiracy was about one little thing and and a couple children, I mean, this is a huge thing. This is a system. It's not like that everyone's connected and everyone's part of it's one system. It's an ecosystem. It's like a drug like drug dealers. It's a, right. it's a market. There's like there's different dealers. and there's different layers of the market. There's the producers and there's the consumers and there's different uh, people that they're gonna arrest at different times. Those 474 people that they arrested, those weren't high level people. But I can guarantee California. you they're looking for leads so they yeah, get the low looking, hanging they're fruit. Looking, they're trying to go up the food chain. Right. Thank God. I hope I hope I wish them luck. Yeah. So I mean, I predict in the next you know week or so we're we're gonna see a lot of raids, a lot of arrests, a lot of sh search warrants. We're already seeing state representatives from New Hampshire. New Hampshire state representative just had a search warrant filed at three of his businesses, all which are pizza shops. Which are being which are being searched for financial reasons by the FBI has also searched his house. So financial. if a man's house as well as his businesses are being searched, you can pretty much guarantee there's criminal activity. There's he's, he's money laundering maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, well, here's the thing. Is, well, 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 I mean, that's that's, that's how they get you. It's never they don't have any other evidence other than the money not adding up. That's how they get you. They start with the money laundering and they start finding out that. And they find it's, out it's whatever child laundering, them. you know, like you're trafficking drugs. children. Maybe drugs or guns. Who knows? Yeah. I'm saying, but it's it's whatever. If you're if you're laundering money, I, I promise you, uh, whatever you're involved in is not. Let me put it this way: it's not wholesome. No, I mean, so and it's not fucking. Whatever you're involved in is not good. Whether you're selling, you know, giant bags of crystal meth or you're selling children, uh, <laughs> none of those things are gonna make you look good. And it's not like I mean. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I'm your neighborhood representative, and I sell giant bag of crystal meth. You know, no, no big deal, nothing to see here. I mean, of course you're gonna end up. CNN can't cover for you, though. Or you selling children? CNN can't cover for you. I mean, no one can cover for you if you get fucking busted doing that. Yeah. CNN would cover for you because they're special interest, but uh, they can't. It, it, like, even they don't have a narrative for that. Like, you know, for something that bad, even they don't have a narrative. Anthony Weiner. This, this, this is how powerful Anthony Weiner is because he's married to Uma Abedin. Uma Abedin was uh, Hillary Clinton's henchwoman. But uh, anyway, Anthony Weiner was so powerful that he got caught waving his waving his noodle around um, like some some fifteen year old girl, which is you know, which is uh, which is I mean, yeah, it's it's fucked up. In I front mean, of his child in bed. Are you fucking kidding me? In front of Isn't his child in bed. Didn't this kid like three years In the picture, he's got like his little waist showing and his child's right there. And he's just taking a picture. Boop. Yep. Dude, that, 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 is, that is even worse than fucking. Yep. I Daily Mail that's, broke it. Yeah. They have all the pictures. That, that sounds like some God knows what. The, you know what? I'm not even <laughs> getting all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> you, should, up. you just go for on and on if you can start getting into that shit, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm um, done with that. Anthony fucking idiot. They tried dude, to well, look. Up. Hey, I really appreciate you coming on, man. I wanted to I really did. hear about, like, what had happened. I watched those videos, and after seeing that, I was... I had to ask you to come on, because after seeing you call them and, and trying to go through that, like, I, I mean, just just to let you know, when I upload this video, I'm going to insert parts of your video in here to show what they what they were saying yeah. during... Um, um, little clips of what they're saying during the bulk of your, your video. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah. but I want to thank I want to thank you're everyone. Always free to use my videos and edit them and stuff like that. Yeah, but okay. I do. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm congratulations on your website, and, and I would like to have you. I'd like to talk to you maybe this week about uh, we can do another video about the media maybe. Yeah. I suck. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I would. Uh, I'd really like to. Um, but um, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll end it right here. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I want to say please subscribe to my channel, and also um, visit Alan's channel at Alan Nowhere at YouTube. Um, he's just hit about a thousand subscribers, so everyone congratulate him. Hit that subscribe button on his channel as well. And um, uh, Facebook.com slash The Liberty Columnist. You can also check me out at www.TheLibertyColumnist.com for my content, um, investigative reports, and news tips. Let me know if you want something covered um, on air. So thank you for uh, viewing this and look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care.